Everyone is talking about CBD and THC, which are two important chemicals found in marijuana. With marijuana legalization becoming mainstream, what is the actual difference between CBD and THC? Inside you right now, there's a biological pathway at work called the endocannabinoid system that helps regulate your mood, appetite, memory, and pain sensation. THC and CBD, though, hijack this system. This is the chemical structure of THC, also known as tetrahydrocannabinol if you are feeling fancy. And this is the chemical structure of CBD, also known as cannabidiol. What you may notice is that their chemical structures seem almost identical. They have the same molecular formula, which is C21H30O2, and both of their masses clock in at 314 grams per mole. But there is one extremely important structural difference. Where THC contains a cyclic ring, CBD contains a hydroxyl group. And this difference in biochemistry actually controls whether or not you feel high. In order to fully understand why, you need to first know about the CB1 receptor. In your unstoned, sober body, your CB1 receptor is affected by a neurotransmitter called anandamide, which controls generation of pleasure, motivation, and feeding behavior. In your unstoned body, anandamide is released after exercising, and it's what causes a runner's high. THC's structure is so similar to anandamide that it fits in perfectly to the CB1 receptor, therefore causing you to feel high. CBD, on the other hand, because of the hydroxyl group, is different in shape and does not fit into the CB1 receptor, therefore it doesn't make you feel high. But CBD does bind to other receptors in your cannabinoid system, affecting you in other ways. A lot of excitement came around a 2011 study where a few dozen people with social anxiety disorder were asked to speak in front of a large audience. Some were given CBD, some were given a placebo. Those who were given CBD reported significantly less anxiety. There are also many animal studies showing CBD's anti-anxiety and anti-inflammatory properties, which can explain why some people say it helps with their anxiety and with chronic pain. Research is also discovering that THC can actually aggravate psychotic symptoms, while CBD, on the other hand, may help with psychosis. So what happens when you consume them at the same time? One study found that due to CBD's biochemical shape, it can actually bind to the CB1 receptor and turn it off in a binding pattern known to biologists as allosteric inhibition. This means that CBD actually makes the THC unable to bind as well and therefore decreases how high you feel. If you vaporize marijuana with 25% THC and 0.1% CBD, you will feel high, as the THC is going to bind to the CB1 receptor with little interference from CBD. If you consume marijuana with 25% THC and 12% CBD, this more CBD will inhibit the THC from binding to the CB1 receptor, decreasing THC's effect and leading you to being less high. Where marijuana is legally sold, likely they will indicate what percentage of THC and CBD is in the product you are choosing, which will help you to understand the effects it will have on your body. In the end, THC is a chemical found in marijuana with a chemical structure that makes you feel high. CBD is a chemical found in marijuana with a different chemical structure that doesn't make you feel high, but it can affect your body in other, less obvious ways. There is still conflicting research and a lot more to understand about both chemicals. With more states and countries legalizing marijuana, hopefully increased research can uncover more details about how these two chemicals affect us. Because weed is now legal in Canada, we created a new series called Stone Science, where we make comedians get high and try to explain complex science concepts. Our first episode is about the respiratory system, so click here to watch it and let us know what you think as we continue to evolve this new idea.